Welding is one of the key processes in industrial production and building. Its quality determines the reliability of fabrications and structures in metal and reinforced concrete. Even a single faulty weld joint may lead to partial or even total collapse or destruction. More disastrous is the fact that sometimes such accidents cost lives. Ultrasonic testing is one of the basic methods of inspecting weld joints. Generally it's more reliable, efficient and safer than other methods of control. In recent decades, ultrasonic testing has been carried out with portable flaw detectors. Years ago, their appearance was a great step forward. But since then, the technology has advanced considerably. Today, non-destructive testing is about to see a new generation of ultrasonic devices, distinguished by the way data is displayed. For years, A-Scan was the standard for visualization. Experts had to analyze single echo signals displayed as an echogram. Today, A-Scan is being replaced with tomography. The new format makes flaw detection as simple and obvious as it gets. Compared to conventional flaw detectors, tomographs multiply the efficiency of control and minimize the number of operators' mistakes. The term tomography comes from the Greek words tomos, layer, and grapho, drawing. With an ultrasonic tomograph, you can see a graphic image of a cross-section of an object, for example of a weld joint, at the place the multi-element antenna array is positioned. Moving around the surface, you will easily inspect the zone you need, layer by layer. Thanks to color coding, the form and position of any flaw are determined promptly and accurately. It's much easier to work with distinct integral cross-sections than with amplitudes and coordinates of single echo signals. Moreover, some flaws are impossible to find with an A-scan. But a high-quality tomograph will let you estimate by sight the real size, geometry and orientation of reflectors in the object. Tomography is obviously much more effective than the A-scan format. But still, ultrasonic tomographs haven't yet become popular enough. One of the main reasons is their high price, because most tomographs are relatively sophisticated. This is explained by the tomograph's visualization principle itself. Ordinary flaw detectors inspect the object with single pulses and show received images as simple echograms. Unlike them, tomographs form a visual section image based on a whole range of echo pulses. Thus data is gathered not by one transducer but by a so-called antenna array. This is a group of several piezoelectric elements. Each of the elements emits and receives ultrasonic pulses. A multi-cord cable and complex electronics transfer wave reflections to the processor. This multi-component construction is the reason for the high price of tomographs produced by most manufacturers. But the price is not the only shortcoming. As a rule, tomographs are bigger and heavier than usual flaw detectors. They consume a lot of energy and need to be recharged frequently. While price and size are issues, there is one more problem, and manufacturers do not like to talk about it. This is that the data processing method used by most tomographs does not provide a steady quality of the image plane. Various kinds of tomographs use one principle. They physically focus an ultrasonic beam in the object body. To realize physical focusing, the antenna array elements generate pulses in turn with a certain interval. The delay time is calculated so that all pulses get to the focus point simultaneously. From a flaw in focus, elements of the antenna array receive a single echo signal, but flaws out of focus reflect not a united wavefront, but more or less discrete pulses. As a result, the picture is clear and accurate only at a relatively small area where the beam was focused physically. The further the flaw is away from the focus, the worse the quality of visualization. It's almost impossible to understand the orientation of a flaw which is out of focus. It's also a problem to determine its real size. 
The technical problems described above have hampered the use of ultrasound tomography from being implemented into practice and becoming standard in non-destructive testing. The situation changed dramatically when the compact handheld tomograph A1550 Introvisor entered the market. It was developed by Russian company Exus. The device is different from its existing counterparts in essence. First of all, its Russian developers rejected the idea of the physical focusing of ultrasound on an object for inspection. The antenna array of the Introvisor is a group of 16 elements. Each of them in turn emits an ultrasonic pulse, while all the rest receive echo signals with very delay time. There is no physical focusing or synchronization of pulses. As a result of each pulsing cycle, 136 independent echograms are saved to the memory. Next, a complex computing algorithm comes into operation. It's termed Digital Focused Array. The processor of the Introvisor operates a matrix which mathematically describes the cross-sectional area. It consists of 65,536 virtual points. For each point, the embedded computer goes over all the 136 echograms received during pulsing. Areas corresponding to the coordinates of a point are analysed. The cumulative value is saved to a memory location fixed to the point following the rule of superposition. The procedure is repeated for each point of the cross-section. Finally, a high-resolution image, 256 by 256 pixels, is obtained. This entire impressive data array is processed almost in a flash, thanks to extraordinary firmware. You get the inner structure of an object being reconstructed in real time at the rate of 25 frames per second. Whatever section the flaw is at, it will be in focus. This means that you'll be able to estimate its real size, geometry and orientation. The unique patented algorithm of echo signals processing offered new prospects for ultrasound tomography. First of all, the developers of the Introvisor managed to simplify the hardware as much as possible. There is no more need for multi-cord cables or complex electronics with switches. That's why the price of the Introvisor is much lower than its existing counterparts and its weight and size are comparable to usual flaw detectors. It weighs less than 3 kilograms together with the power unit. Its basic simplicity makes the device low power. The tomography works offline for at least 8 hours. Introvisor is affordable and easy to use. But what really matters for a diagnostic device is what it can do. And here all the advantages of the new algorithm show up in full. This tomogram demonstrates the steady high quality of focusing for all reflectors at various depths. Take note of the faint effect of overshadowing of the lower holes with the upper ones. It is one of many advantages of multi-angle pulsing implemented by the developers Exus. All the tomograms we are looking at now illustrate how easy it is to analyse the inner structure of objects with the Introvisor. These examples show that even an entry-level user is able to estimate the geometry and orientation of flaws as well as to determine their coordinates and location. It takes literally 10 minutes to master use of the device. With an antenna array of shear waves, welding joints including austenitic ones can be tested. And to find flaws in objects with metal and plastic, a longitudinal wave antenna array is used. The acoustic module of the Introvisor can be replaced quickly by hand if worn out and the replacement unit can be customised and adapted for the diameter of particular pipelines. There are more possibilities too for customisation. When a broadband antenna array is connected, you can change its operating frequency between a range of 1 to 10 MHz. This way you can test a variety of materials at minimal cost. The large colour display can operate in the bright sun or in the cold up to minus 20 degrees centigrade. The screen shows a large-scale cross-section image, coordinates of flaws and signal levels. Measured results are saved to non-volatile memory 
and can be copied to an external laptop by USB cable. You can switch the IntroVisor to classic flaw detector mode anytime you need it. The device works perfectly well with all classical transducers. Just like tomograms, all A scans can be saved to memory, copied to a laptop and used for reports. With the IntroVisor, it's easy to detect lack of fusion, cracks, slag shots and other flaws in welding joints. It's effective equally for butt, fillet, T-shaped and lap welds. The IntroVisor is used successfully to inspect pipelines of various sizes and purposes. Boilers, tanks, metal towers, reinforcing cages, heavy industrial equipment and many other objects. It's evident that ultrasonic tomographs will come into common use soon. Gradually they will replace single-channel flaw detectors like colour television once replaced black and white. The unattractive cost-quality ratio once prevented technology from changes which eventually became inevitable. The portable tomography A1550 IntroVisor was a real breakthrough. The Russian company Exus is bridging a gap between the present and the future which is the dream of all MDT specialists worldwide.